this lady was like, oh my gosh, your hair is getting so long. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You know, I didn't notice. So she was like, yeah, but I don't think it really is the fenugreek. It's probably just your jeans. <laughs> And I didn't have no comeback. I just had to take it because she said it was in my jeans. And I was like, that can't be real. I mean, for real. I'm your favorite fenugreek girl. Like, this is what I do. Even when I was in the store the other day, this lady stopped me, one of the cashiers. And then she brought over, like, the assistant manager. They were like, oh, my God, your hair. You know, I was going in talking about the fenugreek. And the girl was like, yeah, I smell it. And I was like, what? I don't really smell like that anymore. But how do you smell it? But I had just applied it on my edges because um you know i wear ponytails all the time and i stretch it out and i put a little gel trying to you know smooth it out that's the areas of my hair that gets the most manipulation so that's probably why she said i smelled like that but anyway and my best girl was just telling me about the rosemary oil because you know how sometimes your man will use your product and her friend guy well, had used her rosemary oil that she had and he was like oh my god this oil is so good you know he didn't have any of the normal bumps that might come when he cuts his hair or anything and i was like yeah rosemary is also antiviral it's antibacterial so it's gonna create some really good scalp help for you all that to say i was in my feelings because i wanted to know the answer myself so i looked it up to see do your jeans really like, do they really determine how long your hair is going to grow? Like, for real, to judge your jeans? Like, come on. And, um, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, my jeans, yeah. I can't tell you nothing. I was in my feelings. I, I can't, she was right. I mean, you right when you right. However, <laughs> she and I are both right. Yes, your jeans do determine your hair growth. And I'm going to tell you why fenugreek still matters. Okay. Basically, your genetic code. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Your genes basically determine the physical attributes that we see. Everything that makes you. Your height, your eye color, your smile, your teeth, your nails, you know, how big your feet are. Just basically what we see. Your genes are also coding for what we cannot see internally. What's going on? There's a lot of chemical reactions going on. A lot of genetics. So that's what our genes do. So that makes complete sense that our genes are going to determine how thick our hair is with the density it's going to determine the curl pattern <laughs> it's blown out right now no curl <laughs> but let me tell you something there's something called epigenetics it's your statement grace boo epigenetics is any external factors that affect how your genes work this is where fenugreek steps into the door because epigenetics says that our environment, hence pollutions, water quality, air quality, affects how our genes work. Uh, epigenetics also says, hey, our diet, our physical activity, our behaviors as far as enough sleep that we're getting. Do you know if you turn them lights off at night and stop looking at these YouTubes at 2 o'clock in the morning and you take yourself to bed, your hair follicles have melatonin receptors and while you're sleeping, your hair is growing at a better rate? I was like, wait, what? Because I don't average that much sleep and I need to get it. But all that to say, all of those factors affect how your genes express. There's been some research on fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, how they affect the genes. And I will tell you, I saw a lot of uh, research in the cancer area because you know they were trying to see do fruits and vegetables affect how the tumors are growing. Some of the fruits and vegetables, the nutrients in them actually help the cells kill apoptosis cancer cells. So they're like, wow, these this is epigenetics. These phytoestrogens and nutrients in these foods are actually helping the genes genes express a little differently. <laughs> so fenugreek may affect how your natural genes are working. So naturally your hair may grow genetically a half an inch a month. But if you introduce something in your diet, it may cause your genes to increase the rate of your growth and all of a sudden you're averaging two inches per month. That's because you have an external factor like fenugreek or rosemary or hibiscus or amla or whatever growth stimulant. You have an external factor affecting the genes, causing the hair to grow faster. Not even talking about how some of these um, phytonutrients in uh, these growth stimulants like fenugreek may affect your hair growth cycle. So genetically, your hair may stop right here at your shoulders because that might be your growth cycle. But due to epigenetics, some external things that you might do, it may affect the rate, 
how fast your hair is growing in your normal growth cycle. If you increase the rate, it'll be longer once it stops and takes that rest or it might even increase the growth cycle. So the thing about epigenetics is you could turn it on and turn it off. Your genes, normally that's just your genes. So if your rate is a half an inch per month, that's what it is. Epigenetics, you could start doing something externally like taking a supplement or using something internally that affects the genes, you know, and it will change your genetic expression. But if you stop doing it, then your body will revert back to what it naturally does. So, hey, you have to be consistent with whatever you're doing. I was really excited about this. So just remember, physical exercise, water quality, lots of things, your diet affect how your genes are going to express themselves. So all that to say, be healthy. <laughs> and if you know of a growth stimulant that is helping you, it's okay. Just know that scientifically, it might be affecting how your genes work. Because I tell you, one of my friends from the islands, she swears by her garlic by her garlic and honey tea in the morning. It's a lot of sulfur in garlic and sulfur it may be causing her genes to be to express differently because she has this long <laughs> because she has these beautiful long healthy nails and I'm like how like how well she's like well they were never like this but I have a ritual and I really think the sulfur is helping so the sulfur is really affecting how her nails are growing is so healthy and her genes are expressing differently so all that to say I hope you learned something <laughs> don't watch no video on YouTube and take anybody's word. My grandma said you need to eat the fish and spit out the bone. So something that I said might tweak a little bit of your interest. And I encourage you to go look it up and get some sleep. <sighs> when they said beauty sleep, it's so true. Your body is literally becoming more beautiful if you go lay down somewhere. Women, you know you need more sleep than men. Girl, you better get yourself in the nine hours. Granted, I'm saying all that and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs>